you living? What? How you living? What? How you living? Been living color. You can't On a dream, glide with the guide on a funky scene. Then comes another one of those funky, funny, more money shows. A cast for laughs, for talent to throws and sisters with twisters. For you, the looking listener, it seems you don't believe, so you believe what I can bitch you. So put it to your short and thought, we'll make it snappy. We're jokes and folks and folks to keep you happy. No need to hold your remote control. Chill, this show's got soul. All aboard, all aboard. The train up a chuckle, you better snuggle up, couple up, or the double up, double, yeah. It's hard to believe, but some of the best things in life are free. So fellas, grab your girl, tell her that you love her, 'cause that's the way you're living when you're living and living in color. Go, 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 go. Hi. Do you secrete a reading dysfunction? Do you have problems putting your words in a colostomy bag? That's why I've cremated this new program called Book on Phonics. I'll teach you how to testiculate my way. To computate how it works, I will intersex with a perverted deviant by using one of my own penal implants. Uh, masticate the sentence. C. C. Dick. Dick. Angina. Uh, uh, and Jana, uh, you know what Jana is, don't oh, you? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you see, you conjecture in your verbs and ream in your fibula. Im impeach me, uh, Dick. At last, you emasculate the pace and accelerate at a promiscuous rate. Hey, man, that ain't what that says. Shut up. Suppress your defecation. <laughs> see, reading is bisexual in your mentality. I think it was Plato. Excuse me, play doh, who stuck to the wall when he said one must put his transvestite in jeopardy if one wants to become a cunning linguist <laughs> like Vanna White. Now, hermaphrodite, try it again. C. Uh, C. Jane. Jane. Uh. 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 C. Jane's big breastuses. Now you're expectorating your sphinx distinct way. I got a half in the big breast. I got a half in the big breast. Hold on. Hold on. I ain't no venereal foot rucker. <laughs> But I can teach you to probate your hemorrhoidal retention. And you don't even have to be clairvoyant, excuse me, Claire Huxtable, <laughs> to ovulate this amazing program. But how a uh, big I James Breastuses? Gigantor. Uh, So please, don't put off tomorrow what you can castrate today. Send your colon in today. Soon you'll be on your ivory way. And remember, RIF, reading is fallopian. To order Hooked on Phonics, deflocate 995 to Oswald Bates, care of Mid-State Maximum Security Prison. In 1971, in a series of secret experiments, the United States government cryogenically froze 10 volunteers. A year later, nine were revived. The tenth was left frozen for the past 20 years. Give me a blanket, bitch. He was the pimp who time forgot. He was forever silky. Sir, you must calm down. It's 1993. You've been frozen for 22 years. 1993? I told y'all suckers to thaw me out in 78. I only needed seven years to beat that rap. Yo, who won the thrill in Manila? Where's my eight-track parliament tape? <laughs> Now, he searches for the world he once knew, a world that no longer exists. <laughs> Yo, man, 
man, what the hell happened to Benny's bar, man? Where's the jukebox? Where's all them velvet pants? And most importantly, where my hoe? <laughs> my God, Silky, is that you? Yeah, well, this ain't Huggy Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? It's me, Cherry. Cherry? No, my Cherry was young. My Cherry was sexy. Well. And she could do this thing with a tongue. Like this? Oh, that's the creepy thing I'm talking about. Cherry, I never forgot you, baby. No. Look, I still got my little pinky finger you used to love to kiss all up on. Yeah, I never forgot the way you walked. Mm -hmm. Never forgot the way you talked. Oh. Ooh, and I never forgot that time you held back $10 for me. <laughs> trying to make Suki look bad. Where's my money, woman? You have to get my damn money. Get my money, woman. I've joined the nation. You should think about it. Oh, you done joined the nation, huh? Where's my bean pot, girl? You done get my bean pot? Where's my bean pot, woman? I'm oh, sorry, Silky. What I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do? In a strange new world, Silky must learn to start over. Welcome to Mac Burger. May I take your order? Would you like cheese with that? Here you go, pretty lady. Me and Mars and filet of fish. Excuse me, big legs, but see, your order came to a total of 277. And here you come trying to give Sucky two and a half. What, you trying to play games? You think Sucky can't count? Huh? Get my damn money, woman! Get my damn money! Wait, would you like fries with that? <laughs> Forever Silky. Coming soon to a theater near you. You ever consider hoeing? <laughs> Did the best when she raised me These West Coast streets can throw me crazy All these guns and these dying to make me shady You're so hateful and just angry Your pen can't cage us The National Guard can't contain us Gotta try to change us So build another cell to put some more of us in hell And we'll be back You watch and be more of us next year In packs with Glocks and Texas And get on your life the agency And the DPD Do you want to ride with me? Die with me Do you want to ride with me? Die with me to play And don't stop My name is LaShawn, and I will be your supervisor. Okay, before we get started, um, um, what, what's Oh, yeah, what? yeah, my name is Larry, but some people like to call me Denzel. Um, well, Denzel, ricochet your behind over here, let me show you how to run the steam press. Look, you ain't got to show me nothing. All you got to do is just give me some time. I can figure all my stuff out. You know, mm -hmm. I'll figure my stuff uh, out. That's cool and everything, but if you mess up, you'll have a lot of time to figure things out because you will be unemployed. So just uh, take the pants and put them here for five seconds and then turn them over. Got that five seconds? Yeah, I got that five seconds. But usually, you know, I like to run my stuff like, just you know. Just do your job, okay? <laughs> Welcome to Jefferson's Cleaners. May I help you? How you doing, sweet? Look, I'm in a bit of a hurry. How soon can I get this stuff back? Right now. What are you talking about? The sign outside says you have one hour service. Mm-hmm, that's for one or two garments, not the whole doggone Ebony Fashion Fair. <laughs> what are you doing? I thought I told you to put it in for five seconds. What? No, why come you can't do that? Look, 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 your machine is broke, girl. I left it in there for five seconds, but you know what? Me, myself, I don't like leaving nothing in for just five seconds. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that you, yourself, and Sybil are very happy in your big old mob ahead. But uh, we have some work to do, okay? So right now, just stay away from the scene press, okay? All right, I got you. Just whatever. What you want me to do then? Just pay attention for a change. Now, you take the sprayer. I know what to do with the sprayer. Would, would you just... Would, that would, that would, would, would you just wait till I show you who you are trapped in? Just spray a small amount on the stain and scrub gently with this brush. 
Gently. Am I reaching you? Yeah, you reaching me. I got it. Gently. I'll be back to check on you in a minute. Look, I don't know who taught you people how to do laundry, but I just had this dress cleaned, and, and look, now there are two buttons missing. Uh-huh, well, uh, you'll excuse me while I observe your tragic loss with a moment of silence. <laughs> now you look here, Miss Thing. No, she didn't. Oh, no, she did not go there. She did not call me Miss Thing. Oh, yes, she did. She called you Miss Thing. Do something to her, girl. Now, look. <laughs> now, you better do something about my buttons. Well, I could slap you back into last week when your buttons were still on your dress. <laughs> I'll never come here again. Oh. <laughs> Janine, you know she was the one that taught me how to do all that. What? LaShawn, that's coming out of your paycheck. Why come I gotta pay for his mistakes? Because you're his supervisor and you're supposed to be supervising him. Well, if I gotta take the blame for his mistakes, then I am taking his lunch hour and mine too. I will see you at three. <laughs> you better get back here. If you don't get back here, you're gonna find yourself short of a job. Well, you are the authority on short, Mr. Jefferson. You so short, you could be a teller at a piggy bank. <laughs> And you got a mouth like a mini mark. Open 24 hours and nothing good ever comes out of it. Well, I am just going to go to lunch while you get your mind right. <laughs> well, I guess now you have to train me, Mr. Jefferson. No, -uh, no, you fired. I don't care if you are Weezy's nephew. Weezy! <laughs> The following is a public service announcement. This is what Aretha Franklin sounds like singing her classic smash hit, Respect. Listen closely. What you want, baby, I got it. What you need, ooh, you know I got it. Ooh. All I'm asking is for a little respect when you just a little bit. Beautiful, isn't it? Now, this is what you sound like. problems putting your words in a colostomy bag. That's why I've cremated this new program called Book on Phonics. I'll teach you how to testiculate my way. To computate how it works, I will intersex with a perverted deviant by using one of my own penal implants. Uh, masticate the sentence. C. C. 
dick, dick, and Gina. And Gina. You know what Gina is, don't oh, you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you... Two vowels. <laughs> <laughs> No, but this does. <laughs> hey, we're on our honeymoon. We thought this was supposed to be like a show. Oh, so it's entertainment you want, huh? <laughs> okay, charm solo. <laughs> Eat your heart out, Jose Bear. Are we gonna eat? What's your last chef die from? <laughs> Ever watch Japanese baseball? <laughs> That's a triple. There's a finger in mine. Oh, mine too. Uh oh. No wonder I had so much trouble juggling that Ginsu. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be sick. Yep, oriental delicacies can take a little getting used to, man. I, uh, I need a drink. <laughs> Freeze, Perseus! <laughs> Is that a bottle of hot sake you've got there, son? Yes, so? Well, you better let me check the alcohol content. This stuff can make a person highly volatile. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's just say... You're out for a hot one with the boys. But you don't know when to say when. Suddenly you're so intoxicated you think you're a kung fu movie star out for revenge against a Yung Li triad. <laughs> so, you think you can beat me, huh? Well, my friend, let me show you something. Everybody run. Shokun go sing finaku. What wa? Show much Now I have to get a new job. <laughs> that, that was, was my favorite place for lunch. lunch. <laughs> Funny thing about Oriental food, an hour later you're hungry again. <laughs> hey guys, next meal's on me. I have a regular table at the Sizzler. <laughs> What's up, everybody? I'm Josie, and we got Twist and the Fly Girls in the house. Ow. And tonight, I have the pleasure of introducing some of my buddies. Everybody put your hands together from EMI, recording artist, Arrested Development, singing Mr. Wendell. Come on. Just clap your hands. Come on. Just clap your hands. Come on. Uh... a homeless situation in America, a very serious situation in America. So what we need to do as Americans inside of the states and out, outside of the states is be giving. Yes, let's be very giving. Here, have a top. In fact, no, brother man, here, have two. Two dollars means a snack for me, but it means a big deal to you. Be strong, serve God only. Know that if you do, beautiful heaven awaits. That's to pull my rope for the first time. I saw a man with no clothes, no money, no plate. Mr. Wendell, that's his name. No one ever knew his name, cause he's a no one. Never thought twice about spending on an old bum until I had a chance to really get to know him. Now that I know him, to give him money is a charity. He gives me some knowledge, I buy him some shoes. And I think blacks spend all that money on big colleges. Still, most of y'all come out confused. Go ahead, Mr. Wendell. Mr. Wendell. Like we once said, lives in every neighborhood. You see them every day on a daily basis. But what do we do? We sometimes ignore them. Why? Where does that come from? That's like a lack of ignorance on one man's behalf. Mr. Window, 
and still Mr. Widow has freedom yeah. a free that you and I think is dumb free to be without the worries of a quick to diss society for Mr. Widow's above his only worries are sickness and an occasional harassment by the police in their chase uncivilized we call him but I just saw him eat off the food we waste civilization are we really civilized yes or no who are we to judge when thousands of innocent men could be brutally enslaved or killed of our racist grudge Mr. Window has tried to warn us about our ways but we don't hear him talk is it his fault but we've gone too far and we got too far cause of him we've walked Mr. Window, a man, a human in flesh, but not by law. I feed you dignity to stand with pride, realize that all in all, you stand tall. Go ahead, Mr. Window. Yes. Once again, what we do is we ask for protection and guidance with forces seen and unseen. And what we need to do for the people who are in a homeless state of mind, we have to ask for blessings for them as well. Because sometimes they can't do for themselves. Mr. Window, here it is. Right now we're having a celebration of life, for the death, homeless, and the struggles of our ancestors. Stop. We'd like to give special shout-outs to my man Keenan. Special shout-outs to the cast. Special shout-outs to the fan who's made it possible for Arrested Development to come forth with Southern Fried Funk. Special right, shout-outs to EMI. Mr. Special shout-out to Entertainment Resources right. for making all now, of this possible. If anybody knows who yes. to this song, Feel free to sing along. Yes. It goes, Mr. Mr. Window. Check it out. It's the homeless, Mr. y'all. Window, Let's be in a frame of mind of giving. Let's open those hearts and not always be on the receiving end. You know, they can't fend for themselves, so we have to be fending for them. Yes, Mr. Window. Come on. Let's keep those hands together. Come on. Sister Therese, help me out. Come on. Just clap your hands All to right. the beat. Everybody just clap your hands to yeah. the beat. To the beat. Uh, clap your hands to and the beat. Don't stop. Just clap your hands to the beat. Everybody right. just clap your hands. Rejoice and time. Right. Come on. Uh. Giving thanks I to the creator. Now say this is loud. Say this with us. Say this. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. I come on. Say it loud. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Come on. I come on. Let uh. me hear that. Stop. Guidance through forces seen and unseen. Yes. Check it out. Mr. Window in every neighborhood, in every borough. 